Hi, we're going to do a painting here of the Rock of Ages Lighthouse on, in, on Lake Superior. It's about 18 miles from Thunder Bay. It's on Isle, just off Isle Royal, Michigan. Been there a few times. It's truly a magnificent lighthouse. Uh, we're going to do one little change here. We're going to put the lighthouse at work. Stormy sky, rough water. It may as well make it earn its keep. So here we go. So the first thing we'll do, I'm just going to put water all around the lighthouse. Right down to the, to the water line, to the horizon line. Every time I do a painting, the first thing I do is identify what is the texture. The texture of sky is always going to be soft texture. No little cotton batten clouds. And to make it to guarantee for soft texture, if I put water on first, and let the water carry the paint around the lighthouse down to the horizon line. You really can't go wrong with a soft texture. Okay, the paper's wet, so let's get crank in some real stormy colors. A little bit of Prussian blue. We're going to throw some alizarin crimson in there. Burnt sienna to make some dark stormy clouds. Now right, here we go. We'll start at the top left hand corner. Just crank in some dark colors. A little bit on the other side. Now the water is going to do all the work for me. The big brush is not the three inch flat wash brush I have, but it's really a five gallon pail of Lake Superior water. Now if I tilt that plexiglass and half the, half the clouds tumble down to the horizon line. Move from left to right a little bit of a dry spot I have here. No, it's no big deal. All right. Let's leave it at that. Mop up a little bit of water that trickled down with the, the side of the page. Next thing, let's make the waves. Same combination of colors. Prussian blue, burnt sienna, alizarin crimson. So the first stroke I'm going to put on here is just a, a a quick stroke going from left to right. Another stroke just on the, the right hand side, a little smaller. A third one in the top left hand corner. And now what I do, take a clean brush, load it with water, and just drag it in between these two waves. You can actually see the waves forming as the brush is pulled over the water. One on the downside, one underneath. Okay, the idea is not to have little contrived looking waves. Make it look as violent as you possibly can. Now the painting has to dry before I get into the detail on the rocks, the lighthouse, and a few other little things. So until that dries, let's just take a little break. Okay, here we go again. If you haven't already, go to the Me First video on YouTube. It shows you how I prepare the paper, the paint, everything before I start doing the painting. Okay, everything's dry. Next step is we're going to start working on the lighthouse. I'm going to work from top to bottom. That keeps my elbows out of everything. So a little bit of Prussian blue, alizarin crimson. We're going to paint the top canopy of the lighthouse. We're having the light source coming from left to right so the the right hand side is going to be the dark, the dark area. So I generally paint one side, clean water is added to the other side, go from light to dark. Just working our way down, same colors, come down to the base. And add a little bit of burnt sand in there, start doing that little base on the same thing right hand side clean water 
let it go from light to dark. Working our way down, coming down the bottom. Okay, on the right hand side, I'll take a little bit of, uh, let's say, ultramarine blue to paint in the shadow side. I'll just gray that down a little bit with the, with the burnt sienna. So I'm just going to paint a straight line down the right hand side. Clean brush. And just overlap that. Shadow side. And working down the lighthouse, doing the base. The same colors are used for the top. Ultramarine blue, burnt sienna. And come down and paint in. The base of a lighthouse. Not worried about a lot of detail. Ultramarine blue, burnt sienna, and start painting in some rock formations. Always overlapping the colors. Now the next thing, take a clean brush. And just drag it along the bottom of that rock and base formation so we don't get any funny edges. Nice soft edge along here. Take a palette knife or a little blade. Start pulling in some texture. Highlight the rocks. Whites and darks. And I take that same blade Hit the outside. I'm really painting loose here. The railing along the lighthouse. The right and left hand side, a little bit of an antenna. And I add a little bit of detail and darks and lights. the wave formation just for a little bit of additional drama. Take, take a wet brush and soften up some of those edges. The idea is to try and paint the emotion of the lake. But make it look as wild as you possibly can. Forget about the detail. I'm going to let that dry and put a little bit of detail in the windows and the doors and the lighthouse and we'll be done. Okay, here we go. I'm going to finish up the last little bit of de some detail. Doors and windows. A quarter inch flat brush. Door here. Window, window. more detail under here perhaps. Some shadow lines. Take that blade and just look to do a little railing around here. Railing on top. Take that same blade, maybe some details on the rocks and in the last little bit to define that the rocks and the lighthouse formation to come in. And just paint negative painting on the top of those rocks and soften that last color a little bit up. Come down a little bit of detail in that. A 
And there we go. Now I've got a little, a little bit of scraping here in the light areas of the, the windows and doors. I'm just trying to do a demonstration here to paint as loosely as you possibly can and see that and show, show the drama of the painting. It's a, it's a standard a quarter sheet of paper that takes a 16 by 20 mat over the painting. So when it's done, you can get yourself a ready-made 16 by 20 frame mat, the whole thing in the glass, and you've got a finished painting.